This abortion topic is so heated and I'm getting into it all over the place with so many people from the left who don't understand the position that I'm explaining. So first of all, a non-viable pregnancy is a pregnancy in which the fetus or the baby is not capable of being born. It's basically a miscarriage that's going to be happening because the actual fetus is going to die. Right, And so a DNC in this situation is a medical treatment. It's a medical necessity. Yes, the procedure is the same as an abortion, but an abortion that is done electively by a woman because of convenience or preference or whatever, social and financial factors, that's what we mean when we're talking about abortions that should not be legal, abortions that are immoral, abortions that are murder. If a pregnancy or a baby is non-viable, they're going to die in the womb. A non-viable pregnancy is one in which a live birth cannot happen. So if you're trying to justify an abortion or a DNC for a baby, a pregnancy that is viable, but they just have atypical factors, whether it's a disease, a disorder, or a deformity, dysfunction, that's not the same thing. That's not okay. Right? They have a chance at a, a reasonable quality of life. Let them live. And you hear people saying that they don't want government involved in these decisions. I think it needs to be a, like a, what do you call it? A task force conversation where people from medicine, people from law, people from church, people from all over the place should be represented in a public forum. And what we have done is we've taken that decision from the federal courts, right, from federal law to state law, which I think is appropriate. And each state can decide how they want to pursue their rulings in these cases. Now, I do not believe that DNCs should be illegal, right? It's a medical treatment and an emergency when the mother's life is at stake. Obviously, if it's a non-viable pregnancy, if it's a miscarriage, spontaneous abortion, horrible name for it, change it, then fine, get the DNC. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're trying to use that as a loophole to justify elective abortion when there's nothing wrong with the baby, that is murder. And so people have gotten this into their head because they're so afraid of losing their reproductive rights uh, that they're just like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Sorry for that pun. But we need to clarify these terms. So I'm very passionate about this, and it's not that it's a black and white issue. I absolutely agree. It's complicated, nuanced discussion, but you have to see the distinction between these two scenarios, regardless of the fact that a DNC is the same procedure that is done in an elective abortion. These are two qualitatively different scenarios. In conclusion, I absolutely believe that we need to have reform here and clarify these terms legally so that mothers and doctors are not being prosecuted for doing things that are medically necessary. But we need to understand what is medically necessary and when it is not medically necessary. And that that is a, a, a situation in which we should be regulating and preventing people from pursuing abortion.